Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the world of Plant Boy. I have a new camera. Can you tell that I have a new camera? And what is that? I feel like you can see everything now. I feel like I haven't been on here in forever. But let's just get to it, okay? Um, Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, happy eclipse and a new moon. With this eclipse and new moon that was in Cancer, I want to focus on love once again. Because when do we not focus on love? Let's talk about... Let's talk about what your person's thinking, okay? Let's talk about thoughts. Because everybody's probably thinking about things. Everybody's probably thinking about love. Everybody probably wants to do things in regards to you. So let's see what these thoughts have to say. Let's see what these people have to think about when it comes to you. Morgan Greer is with us. We got this tarot deck and um, I got stones that I am going to be showing you. I will show you individually and then show you all together. I haven't been posting much because I was on a family vacation. And then I was just chilling with friends, you know, catching up, being human. But I'm back. And I'm back better than ever for 2020, okay? We finna take over. All right, let's just get into it. What are they thinking of you? What do they have in their head, in their thought space when it comes to you? When they think of you, what are the thoughts that come to their mind? So this is a timeless reading. And this is a general reading, okay? We all know this. I am not reading for you personally. I am reading for a group of people. Generally. General reading. General. Okay, so. Hello to everybody new. Hello to everybody old. Let's just get this started, okay? Focus. Focus on the intention. Tune into the stones, you know? Get into a meditative um, state. Very calm energy. Just focus on the stones. Just pick whichever naturally you feel drawn to. This is number one. And this is a green calcite. Okay, a green calcite. Y'all see it? Y'all feel it? Do y'all like it? Green calcite. Green calcite. Focus on the intention. Focus on your person. Boom. Number two, we got onyx. A black onyx. Okay. Is it not even going to focus? Number three, we got clear quartz. Clear quartz for number three. Who did that? Clear quartz for number three. Boom. You see, you see. This is number one, green calcite. Number two, we got onyx. And number three, we got a clear quartz. Pause the video. Focus on the intention and pick according to your intuition. Boom. Y'all feel it? Mmm. Well, everybody, everybody that has picked number one, this is for you. Let's see what your person is thinking. Okay, let's shuffle your deck real quick. Let every card fall into whatever place it wants to fall into, whether it be reverse or upright. Now let's put the deck together. 
what is their person thinking? What is this person thinking of number one? Of you? All right. I got two cards for you. Now let's get one more. The devil keeps popping up, so I'm already going to assume that you guys have a strong hold on each other. Like, kind of a toxic hold. Um, maybe there's, like, something with the law has to do with it, or there's children involved, or there's, like, an addiction, or there's something, like, where you want to help this person out so you feel, like, tied to this person, or they want to help you out with something so they feel tied to you, or there's just something that they cannot let go, okay? Because it's just not in their person, in their being, to just, like, let someone go when they know that they're going through something, or when they know they have this tie, they know they have this child, or this thing that has to do with the law. There's something that's, like, holding you to them. There's something that's holding them to you. All right. This is exactly what I was saying. This is exactly what I was saying before I even saw this card, okay? Boom. They feel the need to help you with something. You feel the need to help them with something, with that, whatever it is, vice versa, whoever it is. There's somebody that feels the need. Well, it's them, okay? They feel the need to help you with something. They feel as if, like, there was something that was left unbalanced and they need to balance it out, okay? There might be other people, like they might be with another person and they're trying to help like other people. I feel like they're the, just the type of person. They're like the type of person that goes and like tries, tries to help people, but like maybe their own emotions aren't even intact, okay? And their own future isn't even intact. I feel like they try to do things for other people when they should be focusing on themselves. I feel like there's a lot of like wholesome energy here, okay? There's a lot of um, like wholesome emotions. Like this is a very good person. This is a very wholesome person, but they're neglecting themselves. That's what I'm feeling with this, okay? Um, I feel like they're not allowing themselves to move forward, okay? Like when it comes to you, they're they're like so focused on you that they can't even go on their own path, okay? Like they're so focused on the emotions that came with you that they can't even move forward, okay? They're just like stuck on the energy of the past, the energy of the emotions, like the underground energies that are just like hiding still, okay? They, they assume that there's still things that can be, um, that can be solved. They assume that there's things that can be brought up, okay? They assume that there's this path, like, like even this guy is just looking at this globe, looking at the future. There's this other person here, this lobster is looking at the path, but boom, they're reverse. Like they're not really looking at that path. Like they're looking at what they want this path to be, but they're not looking at the actual path that's in front of them. Okay. They're kind of making their own path and they're kind of like working through, like they're like dodging their own emotions to try to bring your emotions to satisfaction. No, they're trying to focus on your emotions as they dodge their own, okay? They're like dodging their own. Damn, there was a word that I was about to say, but I can't, I can't think of it now. <sighs> okay, I feel as if this person, this person is in like a comfort zone. I feel like they feel comfortable in the water. I feel like they feel comfortable in like other people's emotions. Like they feel comfortable in chaos. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like there's like something that needs to be going wrong in order to, for them to feel comfortable because then it's like, okay, now I can go and like help this person or now I can go and try to fix the chaos, okay? Because when everything is perfect and when everything is like silent and when everything is going well and all they have to do is look at their own path and look forward and try to like pursue their own passions that's when they kind of like create chaos within themselves and they're like wait i can't really do anything right now because like there's nothing in front of me there's nothing that's really there for me so they like they like it when other people come to them because they feel as if they're being productive in helping other people but they're not helping themselves so it's almost as if like I don't know if this is their subconscious wanting to bring balance to the relationship only because they don't want to have to deal with their own issues or their own things. But when it comes to you, they definitely want to bring balance. They definitely think of you as 
something that they need to balance out something that they need to fix something that they need to apologize for or just like help i don't really think it's an apology i think it's just like something that they need to help like clear up emotions clear up energy um hmm. i feel like they still see a future with you but i don't necessarily feel like that future is with you okay i feel like they want that future to be made with you like they're stuck in comfort stuck in comfort but that's what i have for you that's interesting overall a very wholesome person but they need to ha they need to learn how to deal with their own emotions they need to learn how to balance their own emotions before they're going out and just giving and giving and giving okay because that's what i'm feeling um but yeah, expect something from this person, expect something. But I feel like you need to turn this around and be like, what are you doing though? Like, you need to help yourself. Boom, that's what I have. So thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe if that resonated. And until next time, the world of Plant Boy. Number two. Everybody that picked number two, that onyx. Let us see what your person is thinking in regards to you. Everybody that has picked number two, what is your person thinking in regards to you? So I'm putting the deck back together. I'm going to shuffle it once again. What is this person thinking of you? Number two. Right. What is this person thinking of number two? Hummingbird. What is this person thinking of number two? I feel like this is somebody you're already like in a stable relationship with. I feel like you're doing good with this person. I feel like everything is just very well balanced, very stable. I feel like the energy is the energy is free. Like I feel like you know what they're thinking. But for many others, this is like a decision needed to be made. This is like stabilization that is being made at this moment okay this is either a very well stabilized relationship or a relationship that is leading to stabilization this is something that is coming towards you okay this is something that is bringing balance this person is hoping to bring balance this person is like striving to um stay stable no wrong ones this person is striving striving for stability when it comes to you when they think of you they think of stability like i feel like this person sees you as something that is um like a good foundation to start building up from okay like this is this is not a relationship that's based off like drama or like you know like some people just love the drama in relationships or love like the um chaos that comes with the relationships or just like the little um inner mining like growth that you know is going to happen okay this is more of just bliss and happiness and joy and like enjoying the fruits that come with this, okay? And I feel like when stability is not happening, it's kind of chaotic for this person. Like I feel like they always want it to be stable and calm and like they want to be able to rely on you and they want you to be able to rely on them. I feel like that's the main thought that happens on, with them when it comes to you. Like they want you to be able to rely on them. And I feel like their main concern is with other people like will this person find somebody else who is more reliable will this person find somebody else who is more stable who has a better foundation i feel like this person has a lot of um insecurities when it comes to their own uh groundings and to their own truths like is this is this really what i'm going for like am, am i doing enough uh but there's still a lot of things that are going to be said i feel like maybe there was some of you that have like this um issue going on that is like not allowing the stability to stay okay 
like that's why this person is kind of being insecure with the stability okay like what i was just speaking on like they're they get insecure about you thinking of other people and like how the groundings blah 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 but i feel like they they're trying to um bring balance at this moment very much bring balance and creativity like there's like a new energy i feel like maybe this person might be boring or they might feel as if they are boring and they want to bring like a creative new energy to this relationship that's what i'm feeling mm -hmm. i feel like this person can be boring only because they're so stable and they're so like um what's the word this is just a very productive person and i feel like they're so like um to the point with everything like i need to do this like i feel like everything is like listed in their head and it's like a, a little perfect checklist that they check off throughout the day and i feel like you might be a person that just goes with the flow and is very creative and very flowy and fiery or maybe just like um watery and very fluid yeah you are a very fluid person what i'm feeling and i feel like the fluidity mixed with the stability is a good match but this person is overthinking it and like wait am i not being fluid enough i feel like they're overthinking the fact that they're not fluid enough they're not creative enough they're not being like as passionate okay but overall it's good like i feel like you're over here like yo it's good like i'm gonna accept your apology i'm gonna accept everything that is going to come with this and i know that you are the stability but there's something that's kind of shaking the grounds with this person and they're going to come they're going to come and confront you about it okay they might even bring you flowers like what but i'm feeling like a good a good stable growth that's coming let's see There might be somebody that they want to take out of the picture, okay? Like, instead of having three cups for each person, let's just have one cup. You know, like, we got a fish, we got two people, two beings. We got a fish and a person. They're sharing one cup. Over here, we got three people. They all have their one cup. So maybe this person's, like, very possessive. Like, I don't want you sharing your cup with this person. Or I don't want you going over there and feasting with that person. Like, they want to keep you in their little bubble which is also probably what's shaking up what's shaking things up okay and what has to bring balance within this person okay maybe you even left maybe you even like sailed that ship and you just like were just doing your own thing on the water like i said a very fluid person and he's still over here on land like i feel like even if you go onto water this person is such a stable person that they're like okay you can go do your thing but i'm gonna stay here on this land and i feel like that's probably where the imbalance comes but it's not really an imbalance it's kind of like a um a good way of growing for each other from each other and learning from each other overall he's always looking forward and he's always staying there he's always waiting or she or they or alien so that's what they're thinking that's what's going on in their headspace okay it's kind of just like little insecurities that pop up but nothing crazy, okay? There's there's joy there. There's happiness. There's just some apologies that are going to be said. I feel like there's some truths. Like, maybe there's some little secrets that are being held. But there's, like, little tiny things that are messing with the, the, the uh, foundations. Nothing crazy, though. I feel like there's just something that this person needs to get off their chest. And they're about to get it off their chest. Or you got something off your chest. And now they need to come back and try to, like put things back together because they're all like chaotic in their mind like oh she feels this way and like he turns it times 10 you know or they she alien okay cool beautiful energy thank you for watching please comment like and subscribe if that resonated and until next time the world of plant boy everybody that has picked this clear quartz okay this reading is for you Number three. Let's shuffle your deck. Let's see what your person's thinking. Let's see what is happening within their thought space when it comes to you, okay? When they think of you, what are the thoughts that come up? Now let's put it together and shuffle some more. All right. What is this person thinking of number three? What is this person thinking of number three?
What is this person thinking of you? I feel like there's a lot of healing that needs to be involved. Okay, yeah. Um, there's a lot of healing that needs to be involved. I feel like this person needs to chill. Or this person needs to let you chill. Or this person needs to let you think. Because there's like options that are arising. I feel like there's options that are arising for someone. For you or for them. No, it's for you. Or they're just insecure about these options. Boom, yeah. All right. Look at this. As I was saying, someone needs to chill. I feel like they... Okay, so I feel like there's like a disconnect between you and this person. I feel like there's a disconnect and this person is kind of... um getting anxious in their mind thinking that you're ignoring them but i feel like the the reality is that you're just trying to strive for your future and you're just trying to build up your future and you're kind of analyzing things and you're analyzing everything that has brought you to this moment i feel like you're analyzing all the things that kind of went through the whole year like everything that you worked towards i feel like you're working towards these things and this person sees it as kind of like something that is getting in their way okay they're not seeing it as like oh this person is working towards their things that's good like they're getting anxious about it like why are they ignoring me why are they doing this why are they doing that like they're overthinking all this like things and they think it's kind of bringing like a death okay <clears throat> through this uh no communication i feel like you have these options and they or they assume you have these options or both you do have these options and you're probably showing it off and they see that you have these options without them and they're getting very anxious, okay? I feel like there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of like uh, abundance that is flowing your way. I feel like you have been in this spot of kind of ease and rest and like you're focusing on yourself, but this person is so distraught by the fact that you're focusing on yourself and they're like, but why? Why is this person focusing so much on themselves? Like, who they have that is like bringing this realization of focusing on self okay like no you should not be focusing on yourself you should be focusing on me that's what i feel like this person is kind of being selfish and jealous with the fact that you are being um self-loving to yourself i also feel like there's like an ease there's like an ease and a confidence that no matter what, no matter what options are arising or no matter what abundance is coming your way, no matter what job offers or like um, enhancement with money, like no matter what, they still assume that you're going to be right back at their doorstep or you're going to be right back at their shoulder and you're just going to be there. Okay, I feel like there's like this cycle that went on with you and them and they're kind of just expecting the cycle to continue but i don't know if you're really on that i feel like you're kind of just looking at your choices i feel like you're focused on the new things like what if i open that cup what if i choose that one what's going to come out of this one what if i go that way what if i quit my job and start here what if i move here and i feel like there's a lot of this this like meditative energy that is really bringing um like intuitive knowledge to your soul and they're not happy with that. They're kind of like content with what's happening, like letting it happen, but it's not really not doing a lot for them, okay? It's getting so dark. Okay. I feel like there's a regeneration of energy though like I feel like both of you are in this spot of like growth for each other like I feel like they assume you're also growing for them like okay we're on this break or we're doing this or we're doing that like let this person grow within themselves for me like okay like I'm satisfied with that like I might be insecure and be anxious about this but it's okay because at the end of the day I know this person's gonna come back to me and then when this person does like that self-love is eventually going to benefit me 
Okay, so then I feel like this person goes and tries to do the same because I feel like you guys probably had this conversation or had this state of like, oh, let's take a break. Let's like focus on each other. Or I need to focus on myself or you had this like actual verbal um, agreement. Okay, and I feel like this person kind of is like switching it around like, okay, I need to do the same thing and I need to go around and get better for myself, but not only for themselves, but for you. I feel like this is all about you and they think your growth is all about them. Like it's kind of like a selfish, um, a selfish growth that is ha happening, um, that they assume is happening within you, um, that they know is happening. There's a lot of abundance regardless. And I feel like a lot of like um, understandings and a lot of realizations that are coming. Uh, but that's what's happening with that. That's a quick one. Um, it's also getting really dark, so I'm going to just film another one tomorrow. So expect to pick a card reading soon. Um, but yeah, that's what I have for you. So until next time, please comment, like, and subscribe if that resonated. And until next time, the world of Plant Boy.